Hello everyone, perhaps you will be surprised to know the number of potatoes harvested from homegrown bags like this. In today's video, I want to share a little tip on how to grow potatoes in the yard simply and effectively. First, how to create potato seedlings, I will cut the potato in half and dip it in lime powder to disinfect the cut to prevent rot. Next, I put it in the sun to dry the cut surface. Once the cut is dry, make sure it is clean to help the healing process happen quickly and effectively. Now I will bury them in sand to maintain moisture to stimulate the potato plants to root and germinate. Now I will use these mesh bags to put soil inside to make a planting bed. This model is very convenient for growing potatoes later thanks to its ability to drain quickly. Not cause flooding and is easy to care for. This is a young plant product. After two weeks of incubation, its roots and sprouts have grown very strongly and are ready for you to plant in the ground. Note that when planting in the ground, only cover the soil up to the base of the sprout and do not plant too deep into the soil. Daily watering is very important for the growth process, ensuring moisture is always maintained for the roots to develop. When we see the shape of a potato stem with withered leaves and drooping branches like this, it is when it is old and the tuber has grown to its full size. We can harvest because all the nutrients have gone into the tuber to grow the tuber. Potato plants are very easy to grow. The only downside when growing potatoes is that the soil must be loose and moist but absolutely not waterlogged. If waterlogged, potatoes will die and rot immediately. So pay attention to this. Therefore, if we plant in bags, the plants will never be waterlogged. This is the most important thing for you to have a bountiful harvest like this.
Thank you for visiting my gardening channel. Hope this video will bring you something interesting. Please subscribe to my channel to receive the next videos. Now goodbye and see you again. Goodbye.